everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another project using the January Hobby Base kit. And this one here, I've made this acetate front um, A6 card. Um, and as you can see there, it just stands up normally, like any other card. If I just bring it up a bit closer, show you what I've done here. So this is, um, there's two pieces of acetate that come with the kit. And this one here has some rose design at the top and the bottom, but it's clear in the middle. And I just wanted to use the clear for this one. So I've just trimmed that down. This is um, a set of three wood veneers and this one here I've just applied some glue and then sprinkled over the copper glitter that came with the kit. And then these are the stickers that also come with the kit and these ones I've rubbed with the ink um, just to give them more of a rose gold colour and then I've set in the middle there um, some of the Ranger, um, uh, this one here, what's it called again, the liquid pearls just to give some dimension there. And then I finished it off with a lovely foiled card and it just gives a really, really lovely effect there. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one, but the, color, the patterns will be slightly different, but we're gonna make this exact card. So I'm just gonna set that one up there just so you can kind of see it still. So you get two um, six by six card mats in the kit. So that's what I've been using and I just need to trim them down. This is the wood veneers. This one here I've already coloured as well. I'm going to show you how I've done that one um, later on. Um, and that was the, the piece of um, vellum. So it was just an A5 so it's a bit longer and I've just cut a piece up there and then this bit here is the other bit that I'm going to cut. But keep these because they're lovely and I do intend to use them, you can see there, on um, other projects. That's the stickers and that's the paper I'm going to use today. Get rid of all those bits. Okay, so this is the six by six card base that I've got here. Actually, I will use, move that to one side a minute just so I've got room to trim. Okay, so what we want to do is open up the card. So um, if you don't have the kits and you're just following this, um, just like any of my other tutorials, this, you can cut a six by six card from a piece of 12, um, 12 by 12 card, just cut it at six inches and then score at six inches and it will give you your card base. So what we want to do with this is we need to trim so that we have two inches at the top. We're going to take out the middle bit and then we have two inches at the bottom. So you need to line, um, lay your card down in your trimmer and the score line, you want to line that up with the two inch mark. Okay, so I'm just lining up my score line there with those. Um, sorry, bring it down a bit there. There we go. Um, that score line, I'm just lining up with the two inch marker there. Okay, and then you can just cut that one like so. Okay, then with this piece here, because it's six inches, you just then want to cut again at two inches. So I'm just lining it up there at the two inch marker and cut. And that bit there we're keeping because that is going to be what goes on the bottom here and then this middle bit will be where the acetate will go. Okay, so keep that card, that's a good bit of um, scrap card to have. Pop that to one side. So that's everything there the minute let me just get this trimmed up as well so I want the card to sit pretty much over the whole piece so it would be two by six that we need to cut this down to so because these are what these pieces measure up at two by six let me just double check yeah two by six okay so we need to cut two pieces of two by six out of this lovely paper here you get five sheets of this six by six in all different prints so there's this print the print i used the two prints that i used on the small bags that i uploaded yesterday and then i've got one more left over as well so again lots and lots of lovely cards so two just check that is coming in at six now it's a little bit bigger i'm just going to trim that down get all that out it's clogged up in my trimmer there. There we go. And then do the other one. Again, just along the two inch there. Keep that again. Don't get rid of it. And then just trim that one down. Like so. So that's that piece. Then the acetate. You can get between, let me just try and get this on a background where you can see it, you can see it there. So that comes in at A5 size. So this piece here that's already taken out is what I used on that other card and that was two and a half inches. 
and I worked it out that you can get another two and a half inches of clear acetate from this second half and then it leaves you these two end pieces of the with the rose print which again like I said keep because I will be using them again so with this piece here I'm just going to line up the rose so it's just coming off there and that oh it's actually two and three quarters so it's even more so that's perfect so I'm just going to trim that off there so I'm just taking off the rose patterned piece so I'm just left with that clear piece of acetate all right and like I said mine is measuring two and three quarters by six okay so that's all the trimming and then we can start assembling this piece of the card here so what you want to do is first of all is what we're going to do is this piece of acetate we want to stick on the front here just so it's kind of um, overlapping by I say a quarter of an inch so I'm just using some red tape here and I'm just going to apply it to the very edge of that acetate. Just trim that off there. And again, I'm going to lay the same amount down the very bottom. You want the thinnest of tapes that you have. So these um, quarter, um, quarter inch ones are brilliant. This is a little bit less actually, I think this is about just see what this one measures up at because I think it's even smaller than that. This is the, um, yeah, it's just under a quarter, it's about th uh, three sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so let's just make sure that's all nicely stuck down. Okay, take off one side first, do it bit by bit. And then just sit it over. You might have a little bit of white. It might not quite meet. This acetate's slightly shorter, just literally like minimal amount. So just make sure you get an even amount on each side. Okay. And then grab that other piece of white. And that's going to sit. So what I would say is get the white piece and make sure that that sits perfectly with the white piece underneath. So you're basically making the card back up again, like so, okay? So what I can do now is I can actually put a bit more red tape, because can you see that the, um, the acetate's coming down more than this piece here? So I'm going to run another piece of red tape just above that, just so that the card underneath doesn't kind of flap around. So let's just run that over there. I think I, I did cut two and a half for the other one, so I think that's why this is two and three quarter width, this acetate, whereas on the other card it was two and a half. So that's why I've got a little bit extra. Okay, so again, just lie that down first, like so, and then bring this over, and you can just sit that right down, like so. And take that other piece off there. There we go. Okay, so that's it coming together now. And then we're going to be decorating over the top of all of this just to conceal it all. And sticking these pieces on the top and the bottom like so. Okay, so again, you can use um, wet glue or you can use double sided tape. I'm going to use my tear tape here just to stick this down. Okay, so just make sure they're all stuck on there. Um, what I will be doing is, because I've um, started doing these kits towards the end of January, and um, this is obviously the January kit, in this kit were stamps, dies, um, and obviously the ink pads and stuff. I will be making other projects um, with those bits and pieces and incorporating them where I can within the February kit as well. So, um, you know, although I haven't used them now, I will, I will try and use them and, and put them into other projects. And I will be sharing them on the Hobby Base um, Subscribers Club as well. So if you are a subscriber, you'll be able to see any other um, cards that I make or projects because I will share them on there as well. So, but this is going to be the only other um, YouTube tutorial for the January kit that will be going up. So again, I'm going to just sit this one down right over the top of this top piece. Make sure it all sits nicely. Okay, and then again with this bottom one, I'm gonna line it all up. 
perfectly like so. And there you have your acetate window for your card. So I mean it's just a gorgeous, it's a really lovely um, way to just change a simple 6x6 six six card. You could also have it um, a, you know, portrait, so it's quite fun that way, and also have it a landscape. In fact, let's have a little play around because I might end up doing it portrait. So, what I'm doing next is with these wood veneers, I'm just going to grab some copy paper here. So what I've done with the, because I was playing around, um, with the Hello, is this is the Encore Satin Rose little ink pad that comes with the kit. And basically I just went over and just inked up the wood veneer. And instantly it gives you a completely different look and it gives you a really nice um, embellishment there to now go ahead and decorate on your cards. So there you go, you can see there how quick that was and that's lovely now. So that's the hello, but I want to use the smile and I want to show you with the glitter that I've used. So I've got the smile one here, got some tacky glue and I've got just a paintbrush here. And all I'm going to do is just put some of the glue there on my brush and just go over and literally just paint this. You can use any um, wet glue, so any PVA glues, things like that would be fine. You don't want to have too much, you just, you just want it to be wet enough that the glitter will catch on it. You don't want to have huge amounts of it kind of oozing all off the, uh, the wood because it would just take longer to dry and you'll have clumpy bits of glitter. So you can see there I'm just kind of... Because the good thing with this is, is anywhere where it doesn't stick we can just sprinkle the excess off and then just put a little bit more glue on and sprinkle it on again. Okay, I think I'm pretty much covered there, like so. Then don't put your glitter straight onto the same piece of card because your glitter will stick to all the glue on the bottom. So I'm just going to fold this over, just take a little bit of excess off there on that E, a little bit clumpy. Like so I'm just going to fold that in half just so it's nice and dry. And then with the lovely um, Hunky Dory Sparkles, this is the Penny Copper that comes in the kit. There's so much in this tiny little pot, this will last you forever. And like any glitter, I mean I remember doing this in school, you know, such a small amount. Um, it goes a long way. So I'm just sprinkling it over and I'm going to pile it up a little bit higher, okay, like so, just so you almost can't see the actual wood veneer anymore. You need the whole pot on there, just like so. So then what you want to do is just grab a ruler and just kind of squash the ruler down over the, um, the wood there just to really make sure that that glitter really does stick down and you get a really thick coverage as well. Okay, just tap off any excess and then I'm just going to grab my pokey tool just so I can see where I am. Like so. Tap off any excess from the back. Like so. And I can see there, I need to just put a little bit more on there and on there, but can you see straight away? Look how gorgeous that is. And it matches perfectly with the gold on this card here. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit more glue. Let me do it just on this end bit here, because I don't want to get too much. Just glue that up. So I'm just going over just where you can see there's a few lighter patches so I'm just going to put a little bit there just on the top of the end like so and there's a little bit on the end of the E there as well but otherwise I think we're okay and then what I can do is just turn it upside down and just tap it all in there Again, that's covered nicely now. And again, just get it on the end there, like so. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry now, naturally, or you can heat set it with your glue Okay, gun. so I've heat set the um, veneer there, and I've also done the back 
just because we've got that clear acetate, if someone does lift it right over, just makes it a bit more pleasing on the eye. So that's all ready there. So I'm going to grab the card, and like I said, you could do this, I think I'm going to do this on a portrait this time. So it's going to be a cross like so, or do we think that way, the same as the other one? I don't know. I don't know which one I like. No, I think I'm going to go that way because I think you can see the smile stands out more. So I'm putting it on an angle. So you actually only need to glue the top of the L and just the S here. And maybe a little bit of the E there as well if we bring a little bit of that up as well. You don't want to put anything on the acetate really because it just won't stick and it will just, yeah, it just end up popping off. I'm just going to use a high tack glue. And like I said, I just want to put a bit on the tip of the S, like so, the top of the L, and a little bit on the E there as well. Okay, and then just make sure I've got that nice and centered and move it across a bit. The glue's clear so it will dry fine. And just let that adhere. Just going to wipe a little bit of that away there. Okay, just wipe that away. If you've got any of those little glue erasers as well, they're really handy, especially when you're working with foil or any kind of miri card. Sometimes the glue, if it does smudge a bit, you'll see it. So I'm just holding that down for a minute. Okay, so that's now all stuck down. So now I just need to decorate it a little bit. So I think I'm going to use some of the... I think I'm going to use the heart. I'm going to use this one, this one, maybe that one there as well. And all I'm doing is grabbing, get some scrap card here, and I'm just going to stick them onto the scrap card, like so. So I'll use that one, that one, I'm going to take that little one there as well, like so. Okay, so I just want to make these colours a little bit more um, so they match these ones here, because if I bring over this one, we're going to stain them like I've done with this one here, so it just make, gives it a more of a that kind of rose coppery. Well, I guess copper and rose are not the same colour, but you know what I mean, it just kind of blend in a bit more. So I'm just going to literally, you don't even need to do it for that long, it kind of takes to it really quick. As I said in the tutorial on the mini handbags, um, because these are glittered stickers, they're obviously rough, but they just take to the, um, the colour, the pigment, really well. I'm just rubbing my finger over just so that some of the gold does come back through. So it just gives it, it's just nice, gives it that shimmer. Okay, and then I'm just going to fussy cut them out. So just so that they're a little bit more stronger um, and it gives a little bit more dimension to your card. So literally I'm just going around now and just going to cut them all out. Okay, so I've just cut them out and I've just got some glue dots here. And I'm just going to put a few of the glue dots kind of layered on top of each other so it almost gives it dimension just acts a bit like a foam a foam dot so just put three or four on top of each other there and then just kind of randomly stick them down There we go, like so. You just bring them up there. You can just see, kind of just make them out. It doesn't pick it up as well in camera, um, but it's certainly there. And if I just flip this over, you can just see on the other side there, it just looks nicer. Now you could certainly put more panels on this side as well if you wanted to, um, but there you have it. So the envelopes come in the kit. So there's two envelopes for um, both of them, um, but there you have it. So that's using the wood veneers, um, the glitter, We've used some of the um, the pearl liquid drops, the acetate, so lots of elements into these cards and I think they look great. So there you have it. So if you do like the kits and it's something that you're interested in, um, you have until the 21st of each month to subscribe for the following month's kit. So unfortunately the 21st is already passed for the February kit, but you have until the 21st of February now to get the March kit.
So if it is something you like and you know once you start seeing what I start to um, produce with the February kit, um, again it might be something that you think oh I really enjoy that, um, then all the links I will share below on what you need to do to get hold of the kit. They are also I've been informed going to be doing international shipping so to answer some of the questions that people have asked about the um, if it's available outside of the UK the answer will be yes. Um, just keep an eye on it. I'm not sure if it's gone live today or not, but I know that they are doing it. So I will update everything on my blog as well. And all those links again are all shared below. Um, but if again, if you do like what I've done here and it is something you'd like to do, then just hop on over to the Hobby Base um, page and you'll be able to subscribe for the kits. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and these cards that I've made for you. Um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.